Okay, guys, we got the Takahashi 128 FS. I see the moon up there, but I also see Jupiter up there. So let's take a look. Okay guys, we have the Takahashi here. We have a nice clear, well, a coolish night. And Jupiter is out. I've showed you guys this a few times, so there's no need to uh, go over uh, the information. Let's just take a look at Jupiter and see how it goes and see how it looks. Okay, first I am gonna look at it visually and tell you what I see. It's about 25, it's about, uh, well, probably the ground, about 30 degrees uh, from the horizon up. So it's not too high, not too low, should still be okay. Okay, we're gonna start with a two inch eyepiece, 32 millimeter, cause I am not using a, a finder scope. So this will make finding it a bit easier. Oh, there we go. Wow, it's pretty bright. Okay, let me put it in the center. We got uh, three moons on one side. We have one moon on the other side. Okay, now that we found it, we can jump up. Let's jump up to the uh, Nagler, 13 millimeter. I don't know exactly what that power is. We'll look after. Okay, this power, the two main belts are very distinct, very clear. Okay, let's bump up the power again. Let's do a 6.4 ultra wide angle. Okay, it's still in the field of view. Very sharp. Now I only gave this guy, I would say about 40 minutes cool down time, and it's also a doublet. So that definitely helps. Okay, I'm gonna bump it up again. 1040. Okay, so the focal length is 1040. And we were at 1040 divided by 6.7. We get 155 power. Okay, so 1040 divided by 4.7 equals 221 power. So that should be like a medium high power. Okay, still in the eyepiece. I, I don't have to find it. The mount is keeping up with it. The two belts are very distinct and very thick. This is actually, I think, my first time seeing it this year. It's not as high as it could be in the sky. And I don't know if it's enough cooling, but uh, that's okay. Now, what happens if I try a 6.7? With a two times barlow gives me 3.4. 306 power. So actually that should be pretty high. I'm again going above, is this too much? Let me see. No, I don't think it's that much. It actually looks pretty good. And even at this power, I can see three moons. One on the left, two on the right side. Yeah, so as for Whatever power I just said, looks pretty good. Now, of course, if I gave it a little bit more cooling, like at least an hour, and if it was, you know, 40, 50 degrees above the horizon, probably be even better as well. But uh, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna back out the power a little bit. So we were at what? 305. Okay, let's back down one little bit more, back to the 4.7 ultra wide. This was, uh, what power was this? 243, is that what I said, guys? 10 is divided by 4.7, 221. Yeah, 221 is actually uh, 128. Uh, it's almost uh, the theoretical. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, let me see if I can show you guys in the eyepiece and um, let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, in this shot, you can see the moons 
right there one on this side two and then the other one you can't see it's out of the frame now to see more detail on Jupiter we got to lower the contrast that looks pretty good I would say let me see if I can get that back down a little right now I'm blowing it up 8.3 times on the Seven point two on the screen. I'm not sure how that's going to look when I download it, but obviously I can get much, much closer. Okay, how does that look? I think that looks pretty good. I'm not even blowing it up on the cell phone anyway. I guess when I upload it, I'll see how it looks like. Let me just, anyway, that's Jupiter, guys, the biggest planet in the solar system. Uh, it looks okay-ish on the screen. I have a 18 millimeter with a five times Barlow, a power mate, a teleview. I'm only blowing it up 1.6 on the screen. The mount is keeping it, uh, it looks pretty stable to me. Um, you know, and that's it. So anyway, guys, that's a taste of Jupiter. As the weeks go on, it's gonna get higher, it's gonna get better. So anyway, um, that's it. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. For you guys that are on the channel, I appreciate it. If you know anybody getting in the hobby, I share them my link if you're on the forums. And somebody's asked a question maybe about this telescope or anything else please pass on my link and i do have a members a forum now which is once a month i put a video just for the members only and i'll put your name in the description so if you want to join that would help a lot i would appreciate it and they'll get the channel to grow faster and um, as you guys said i'm getting pretty good at doing cell phone imaging I'm getting better and better but anyway why not you why not me